In this video, I turned this 20 by 20 area into an insanely detailed Brazil theme park filled with detailed buildings, a roller coaster, and more. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm gonna start with the first house here and I'm gonna have it about this big and tilt it. And then I can create a window like this and I can make a roof out of these things. Just copy every tile down and then I can just paint everything green. Now I'm gonna make a balcony kind of thing and add in some poles, just like this. Then I can add some plants just on the side here because, and some bricks for some nice extra detail. Then I want the second building right here and I can make some bricks just going up it. And then I can copy all of them and then just paste it to the other side. And then I'm gonna have a little like clothes hanger with the welcome sign. So I want some text that says welcome. This looks good. And I can just make a quick little sign here. Then I can add in some different color variants of the building and add a roof. I can make a blue version of the brick building. I can add more of the same building, just different colors. Then I'll make another building. I can add a doorknob like this and a little overhead like hanging thingy. I can add it in right here. And now I can make a yellow version of the brick building and just place it in here. And then I can just copy this on the floor, I think. Curve it up a bit. I can copy it here. All right, nice. Now I got a little like walkway thing area. Yeah. And we can keep copying this building like that. And then we can keep the same yellow color. So I'll copy in this building. Right, very nice. Got the roof now. I can put this in, but make it a different color. So I can add it in here. And then actually, I think this is where the entrance to it is going to be, so, or entrance to the coaster. And we can add more of these bricks all around, very nice. It's not the nicest looking road, but it works. We can keep adding more buildings. This one will just have nothing on it. It's going to like end here, so I'll curve this in. And then this can just be a blank wall. Alright, and then that's pretty much it. Or I should probably add some street, street lights. Make it metal, have it like this color, have it like this size, and add some more detail on the side, and then something coming off on the side here, and this will hold the light. And I can copy all of this, and then a little thing at the bottom, and a bigger one, and then I think that's it. And now, I can copy this in. All right, now, time for the, here, let me just get rid of this. Yeah, I'm gonna add like the nature area. But first, yeah, I'm gonna add the, a ride. So I'll probably go with the multi-launch. So I can place it here. And it's just gonna be a small, nice little ride. We can have it dip down a bit, turn it like this. And we can bring it up here and have it go above the path. And I can kind of bend it at the end here. And then we can connect it at the end. I think for the operations, we can have it go around twice. Now, I think instead of having this a park, I'll just have it as more this. Just like this. And I can copy this one, and put it here. All right, now I can just put these buildings in this new area, like this. And then a building right here. All right, very nice. All right, now I can work on the nature part here. All right, now I'm gonna add a path leading to the station, just like this. And then I'll add some like bushes around. I'll make them just pretty big for now. Or er, hmm, I'll make them small actually. And then I can just copy this all around. And then I'll add in some rocks here, just little small ones. And then make them all gray and rock. Just like this, and then grab this copied selection and put it here. Boom, now we got a nice little area here. And we can add in some smaller bushes as like a wall decoration. And then we can add in some rocks, just the basic ones, just near the edges for some extra detail. And then in this little area here, very nice. And then, I don't know if there's any like good trees. These could work. Yeah, very simple and nice. And then some smaller ones next to it. And then some like maybe on the floor as like a bush or something with some more trees. And then maybe I could use something like a mesh roof right here that goes along the tracks. Maybe that could be cool like this. 
And then we can add a pull that extends down from it. All right, and then I change it into wooden planks like this. Can I do it here? Yeah. And then we can add some like supports to it, like big beams. And these will all be the same height. And these can be a bit darker. And I think I want the train to be, or maybe I'll have it light green. Wow, so aesthetic. <laughs> and then I think I can have like, like, how would this look? Don't know why they'd be wooden, but makes it look nice. So we're adding it like that. Very nice. And now I'm gonna add in like a fence, but for this top part only. Like this all around. And then some planks connecting them. Like this. Okay, and then I just realized that this is banked a lot, so I don't think I'll have a fence here. And then we can add some like things here. Like that. All right, now I can finish up this part. So I'll just take these and then bring up these bushes. All right, very nice. Looks pretty good. Try to do it for the same side here. Got to make sure I'm not building outside of the area. And then some big rock formations just to cover up the outside or rotate it so it doesn't go out. Lean it. All right, now it's like a nice little area here. And I'll copy this rock formation because I'm going to use it later. So yeah, I can kind of copy it around like this. There's a little centerpiece, kind of. And then add some more trees all around. And I think I can just add in these basic logs. And then maybe some rocks like this scattered around. I'm going to add some rocks on the side here just to cover up all that. And just add trees on the side to cover up some stuff. And then I'm going to add some bushes under the logs to make them look a bit like something. I don't know. To make them look better. And then some more rocks over here just to cover it up. And I'm sad that I can't really do anything here because it's like right at the edge. And I'll add some rocks here just to smooth the transition between the path and rock. And now I'm going to add, I'm going to add these things like little poles that like separate where you can get on the ride. So I'm going to add a little thing like this. And now I'll add this fence just all around and then go like this. All right, and then it ends hopefully good right here. Oh, wait, I gotta change the color of the vehicle. So yeah, that looks pretty good. And then I have an idea. I can take this tree right over here and then I can add these colors to it. And I can add these as well, like climbers, like overgrownness, like this. Just all around the city area. You can add out on this just to make it look a bit more lively. Alright, and then I think I'm pretty much done with the city. And pretty much done with this. Now I just have this area to work on. These rocks. I don't have to do too much because it's just like a little bit. Now some trees in to fill in the space. Just to make sure it looks good. And then we can add some bushes in here and there. And some bigger ones. Oh wait, I just realized that I have to add some color variants in the rocks. And some lighter ones here. All right, now that looks a lot more detailed and better. And then a big cluster of trees in the middle here. All right, and then I think I'm pretty much done. No, I got some more logs. All right, I think I'm gonna add some more logs and then I'll be pretty much done. And then I can add different types of trees, maybe like this, just scale it down. Oh, these are one colored? Okay, I can add more of these vines. All right, and then I think I think that's it. I mean, I think I did a pretty good job. I don't know if it's the great for like a Brazil. So here's the full cinematic and on-ride experience.